let's talk about grass muzzles. muzzle is a really useful tool to help with horses that tend to put on lots of weight during the summer months. They can help by restricting up to 70% of their grass intake per day as long as they're fitted correctly. They're also really useful as part of a weight management program for your horse. Some people do think that they look cruel, but they are not used to prevent a horse from eating. They merely restrict a horse's grass intake. So the cost of a grass muzzle can be between £10 if you're buying one second hand, right up to £150 if you're buying one that's made to measure and comes with a halter. And yeah, they just look quite posh but they all do exactly the same job. You can get lots of different shapes and sizes, all depending on the breed of your horse and the size. Draft types and heavy horses tend to need interventions like this because they tend to have a poorer tolerance of the sugar content that's in the grass. Ponies suffer terribly with this through the summer months. The first thing that you need to really think about is the gradual process of introduction. Having a grass muzzle on for the very first time can cause a lot of stress because the grass intake is reduced so quickly. So it's best to build up the amount of use over a period of time so that it keeps the stress levels down to a minimum. Grass muzzles can also cause a horse or pony to become aggressive and difficult to catch. There are also different types of muzzle. Some that will attach to your own head collar, which is great if you've got a field safe head collar. Always think safety fast. You can also buy the complete muzzles that are all built in together like this one, but some horses do tend to eat the bottoms out of those. They can be made out of different materials such as nylon and rubber. So it's best to see what type works best for you and your horse. Just always make sure that they are field safe. You also do need to check your horse's teeth regularly as a grass muzzle can cause a lot of damage with long-term use. You must always make sure that the grass muzzle is properly fitted. A horse must be able to eat and drink with the muzzle on. You need between one and one and a half centimetres from the grass muzzle to the end of your horse's muzzle. Now don't get confused there because they're both called the same thing. The grass muzzle is what you put on your horse, but the horse's actual muzzle is their nose and the fleshy part, their nose and mouth. You also need to make sure that there is one to two centimetres of space all the way around the muzzle so the horse can still open their mouth properly and it doesn't affect their breathing. When they're correctly fitted, they minimise chafing, which causes sores, and then they can't eat through the sides. You need to check the fit regularly and I would actually say that you need to check that your muzzle fits every single day that you put it on. You need to check for any rubbing, any sores. You need to check if the muzzle is broken because they can cause damage to your horse but also other horses as well because you can find sharp edges and they can also get stuck on objects in and around the field. Now, I know that some people do think that a grass muzzle is cruel but it really does help a horse with a weight problem to live more naturally in a herd with other horses like they're meant to and not have to be kept in a small paddock or sand paddock where they've got no grazing and they have to be restricted and kept on their own. You need to give your horse a regular break from the muzzle. If you check the weather and there's overcast or warm days ahead then that means there's less sugar in the grass. 
Sunlight causes the sugar to rise within the grass, whereas heat just provides growth of the grass. So if it's a warm day, that's great as long as it's overcast. If it's a sunny day, get the muzzle on. Next, we need to talk about socialization issues. Horses use their muzzles to show affection and to socialize with other field mates. They love to nuzzle each other, give scratches, and bite on occasion if they need to. The muzzle does help to let the horse be in a field with others instead of being kept in their own or strip grazed. But make sure your horse has time to be a horse in the field with their friends without the muzzle on. It is super important that you fully supervise your horse or pony if they are having a muzzle put on for the very first time just to make sure that they don't become distressed and they can eat and drink properly i recommend putting the muzzle on for the first time for three maybe four hours just to see that they are getting used to it and just build that up over time so is a grass muzzle a miracle cure I'm afraid not. A horse can't lose weight and get fit with a grass muzzle alone. They have to have exercise. They also need mental stimulation, so get them out of that field, and they really need a change of scenery. So these things coupled with exercise will have the full effect that's needed. A horse on restricted grazing may also need some added supplements of vitamins and minerals, which you can get in block form. They also need to really have a good forage around sometimes for that mental stimulation. So guidance from the National Equine Welfare Council have said that 10 hours a day of wearing the muzzle is ideal. You should also consult with a vet to make sure that there are no underlying issues with your horse as equine obesity can also be a sign of medical issues such as Cushing's and EMS, which is equine metabolic syndrome. Both can be linked to reoccurring bouts of laminitis. Remember to check your horse's teeth a lot more regularly as the grass muzzle can actually wear down the tops of their teeth, the tops of each tooth at the front. And I'm sure that you've seen some horror pictures over the years of horses' teeth because they've been wearing grass muzzles. So always keep on top of that and make sure that's not happening to your horse. Keeping your horse in a grass muzzle does take a lot of perseverance. And yes, you will need to monitor your horse daily. But there are also other weight management options that you might like to try. For instance, you can put a rug on your horse only if it is absolutely needed. Don't give them treats or things like token food. Increase the exercise. The more exercise your horse gets, the fitter, healthier and mentally happier your horse is going to be. Regular body condition scoring is also really, really handy to keep on top of your horse's weight. I like to use a weight tape. I find them really simple to use and it gives you an overall picture. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's only a quick one, but I just wanted to get out there some of the facts about using a grass muzzle and to show that they're not a cruel act of punishment, especially if it's used correctly. I know some people do keep their horses in a grass muzzle 24 hours a day, and I do not recommend that. That's really not what should be done. So if you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see some more of them and for now, bye-bye.